hello guys welcome to today's video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to make use of kind master now kind master is a video editor that you need to use to edit your um the video you created and are ready for publish all right let me show you guys how to make use of that if you do not have kind master go ahead and download it this is the spelling of the application um kind master so you can go ahead and search for it on your android play store or your google play store so um let me go ahead and open it if you already have it installed go ahead and open it and it always um rotates your screen so you might need to rotate the screen in order for you to make use of the application all right guys so um if you have opened it um it usually gives you this information for you to read the attempts of use um go ahead and click on the link in order to read it but i'm just going to click ok to skip that particular area because i already read it initially all right I actually didn't read it because it's too much so there is this notification that displays allow kind master to access your photo media and your file go ahead and click on allow it to access so that it will be able to display and see all of the video on your device and everything else all including your pictures um, now go ahead and swipe left swipe left until you reach the end of that particular slide um, click on start to start the application so like every other application it displays an advert and asks you to join the premium so if you are ready to join the premium user that means you're ready to start paying for the application this is what it costs to make use of the application monthly and this is what it costs to make use of the application every year so whichever one you want go ahead and choose on a particular package to make use of this unique application to edit your video now if you're done with that go ahead um, and close it because i want to make use of the free version to create this video tutorial all right to start making use of the application the first thing you need to do is to click on create and now there are different things right there you can start um you can click on the get a project to open a pre-existing project that is if you're already working on a particular project when you tap on this application it displays and reads all of those projects and also it displays other um pre-existing uh what do i call it? i should say a template or existing team that you have is actually downloaded right now but because um there are so many of them and it consume a lot of memory that's the reason why it took time to open you can go ahead and click on any of them right there to choose and start editing from there but i'm not interested in making use of any of these i just want to edit my video and publish it online now to do that click on create to start creating a new project and under this area it displays information for you if you are creating a youtube video make use of the 16 ratio 9 which is actually the frame rate of the screen size and if you are making use of instagram reels make use of the 9 ratio 16 if you are making use of instagram post make use of 1 ratio 1 if you are making use of um other smaller device make use of four ratio three actually this four ratio three also works for instagram um post too but um the best version is one ratio one for instagram post and also there is this other instagram option um three ratio four it still work for instagram reels and this four ratio five also work for instagram reels and if you're making use of a big width screen which is actually a pc you can make use of um this particular two point um 35 ratio one so um that is actually for a big screen which is um a laptop or a a um an android pc or a tv now if you scroll up you can still see even more um you can go ahead and choose different option and actually guys i forgot to mention this option also work for your tiktok this particular one works for your TikTok and that 9 ratio 16 also work for your TikTok also. So consider making use of any of those if you are interested. And if for some reason you want to um, make use of an auto, you can click on auto field so that it will automatically generate and know the exact screen size to use. That is if you already recorded your video with that application, just go ahead and choose on auto and it will automatically choose it for you and to start creating our um video all i need to do is to click on the project name and i'm going to name it tutor actually the reason why i'm giving it a unique name is because once i didn't save up this work or probably left it on save it's going to automatically um save it up for me so that i will remember the name that i used to save it that's the reason why i gave it a name all right to start creating since we are creating video for youtube and facebook video i'm going to make use of the um, first option which is 16 ratio 9 i just scroll down so that you see it. 
so just go ahead and click on it and now click on done and click on next so it creates our project um area for us and this area is your timeline this is the menu area where you see the delete undo and all of those other settings and on top this area is the folders where you have all the videos and photos existing on your device now um the first thing i need to add is actually to add my main video sorry i'm going to add my outro first i'm going to add the main video next and then i'm going to add um the intro right now um Although I mentioned the outro, I didn't make a mistake mentioning the outro. So I want the outro to be here and then the main video follows and then the first one will be the intro. So this is going to be the outro and it always displays this icon. I'm just going to say, okay, it's going to actually um, re-encode the video because previously the video was on 10, um, it was on 9. 20 by 1080 um, dp pixel but it has to change it to 720 because on default the 720 is for free users but 920 um, is actually for premium users so it actually automatically re-encode the video now i'm going to go ahead and add our main video which is on the folder of mobizin this mobizin folder i'm going to click on that and to add the video now you notice the way it displays right the first video I added display there, the next one displays here, and now I'm going to add the outro finally. Tap on it, re-encode also, and you notice it displays here. You notice this time it was faster than the previous time I did it. So now we have our video existing. I'm going to close this because I already finished selecting. But now there is actually an issue right there because this video right here is cool right but then i want to add a background to display right here now if i try to add a background um i want to have the background play while the video plays and the background should be behind the video so since the background should be behind the video um i will have to make it um a, a media also and uh, you notice where it has image access you can click on the image access to select any of this pre-existing image if you used to watch my video a lot you will notice that i've made use of this image quite a while so i'm going to confirm that i need to make use of that video and i'm going to stretch it even further and then come right back on the beginning of the video and then confirm that i have selected it now i want to add the main video which is the main video that is going to play i will have to add it as a layer i just clicked on the layer and now i'm clicking on the media and i have to locate the mobizin folder select that particular video now you notice it displays on the bottom and is actually on top of our video now i'm going to click on it to make it bigger now it's already bigger and i think it fits in properly um, properly a, a lot for me and you can notice the video actually plays and okay before i forget i have to get rid of this particular video i just selected it and i need to delete there is a delete button right there i just clicked on the delete button and it deleted fine and you notice our main video is actually the one on the bottom and it even play even further to this area so all we need to do is to extend our background to where the video stopped so i need to click on the background and then keep extending it until it gets to where i want which is around here um because i i i extended too much i actually clicked on the menu by mistake so um i think um so guys i'm actually not seeing this properly so i want the um background to end where the video ended but because you notice the timeline it seems i can't drag it to the exact um direction to the exact position where the video ended so i need to zoom in in order for you to zoom in you need to use your two hand like this and then um, expand you notice it's been zooming i don't know if you are actually noticing it on the timeline just pay attention to the timeline it's getting bigger so i think it's big enough and right there i can easily drag to the exact position by clicking and dragging let me hold this area so that um it doesn't move mm -hmm. i'm looking at it on the bottom i think it's actually perfect now it's not exactly perfect it's a bit too back so i'm going to move it even further yes right there now i'm going to play this video to be sure i think it's correct i don't want to have 
I don't want to have any mistake in the video where the video stopped playing and then the background is still going. That's the reason why I have to extend it to that length to make sure that I got it correctly. So since I have it correctly, I think I'm okay with the background playing along with the video. And then one more thing, guys, if you want to add a music to your um, timeline, all you need to do, I'm actually scrolling to get to the beginning, but it's too long. So I'm going to zoom out. The reason why it's too long is because I actually zoomed in so i'm zooming out and now i just zoomed out and it's easier for me to move and get to the beginning of the video so once you're at the beginning of the video um I'm, I'm going to undo i just made a mistake to undo just select this option i just made a mistake by moving the video timeline a bit further but it is actually a mistake but i just um did the undo so i just um redo the changes that i just made so um right now is already is not yet on the beginning i have to move a little bit okay let's say you want the music to start playing when the video starts playing all you need to do you notice the music um the media audio right there you can choose that but for some reason i'm not going to make use of that particular option you can also choose this option and okay uh, it's only photos and media instead let's just go ahead and select the music right there so when you choose the music it actually brings you to this area and it displays everything um everything right there you can select music to download a music that comes with kind master you can download the music from kind master you can make use of sfx music you can go ahead and record but i actually want to make use of the song existing on my phone so i'm going to click on song and these are all the songs that is existing in my phone and now i'm going to choose this amino i've been choosing this song a lot and click on this plus icon you notice the music is displaying on the bottom area so i'm going to close this out and now play so you notice the song plays along along the video right so if for some reason you want to reduce the volume of the video click on the video after you click on it it should have an adjustment area which is this particular one click on the adjustment area and then you are going to notice the media sorry this is the video i actually selected the wrong thing so this is the video i actually clicked on the background so this is the video you click on the video and you select volume now you notice the volume of the video right there i mean this is the sound of the volume this is just the pitch and everything just to customize the sound and all this stuff so i'm going to reduce this audio to 30 percent and now play the video You notice now my voice is very low and the music is very loud so this is actually what i want to achieve and if you are okay with that go ahead and export your video and to export your video all you need to do is to click on this arrow right there click on that particular arrow and it brings you to the export area on default you notice um, when i was rendering the video i told you it actually saves it to 720 dp that is because we are making use of the free version if you are making use of the paid version it's going to increase the export resolution even further so if you are ready to export go ahead and click on export to export it with the default setting but if for some reason guys you want to increase the resolution and you want it to be a bit clearer and you have enough uh, memory on your phone go ahead and extend this to the highest once you extend it to the highest it actually increases the resolution of the video while it's playing it's going to be a bit more clearer than it used to be but the challenge is that it's going to increase the um, ram the the size of the video so if you are okay with whichever setting you want and you are okay with it just go ahead and click on save video and once you click on save video it will start exporting your video Go ahead and close this out. It's just an advertisement for you to join the premium user. So um, save the video and make sure you make use of um, the save option. Skip. So it starts saving your video and just allow this to save and complete 200%. Once it gets 200%, your video is already saved and ready to publish. So if you guys are okay with this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more video. If you have more questions regarding this video, make sure to leave it on the comment section and I'm going to answer every one of your questions. See you guys on my next video, guys. Peace.